Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here today with the self-propelled ride-on uh, blower from AgriMetal. This has a 23 horsepower Kawasaki on it. It's capable of over 10,000 cubic feet a minute of air at over 150 miles per hour. This unit will turn 360 degrees within its own frame size. The wheels are able to go completely vertical. It uses kind of a boat style steering with aircraft cable. Steers real good, so it's kind of neat how fast and how short it'll turn. So it'll basically go anywhere. It's a hydrostatic drive, forwards and reverse here. You can easily adjust whatever degree you want your blower to blow on. And then you've got a little indicator so that you know if you're straight down. If you were on a small cart path for the golf course or something, you could leave it straight down and it would clear it from both sides without having to blow a lot in one direction. Maybe if you had something you didn't want it to blow on. So we'll turn this thing around, show you the other sides to show you a few more features. Okay, so on the other side of this self-propelled blower, we've got the 23 horsepower high quality Kawasaki here. We've, it is of course electric start. Your throttle is here, easy to get to. This is where I was rotating the chute from, so that's real simple. It has a park brake right here, and you can see how the cable wraps around your steering, just like an old boat steering, but it works really well. And this being that it has such a wide wheelbase, which looks like about five and a half feet, it should be able to really go on hills well, and with that center three-wheel design where it's able to turn in its own space, it's just going to be so maneuverable, I can't wait to use this tomorrow. We're going to use this at one of our county parks here. We're going to clean off the sidewalks and so forth, so you'll get a good idea of what it'll, what it'll be used for. When we're doing a sidewalk this narrow, we'll probably keep the throttle pretty far down because we're not going to need to blow but this four feet. But we're going to let Peanut run this for us and uh, see how it does. The blower does stay running on this all the time, so when you don't want it blowing uh, debris out of your way, then just leave it turned straight up. Oh yeah, this is going to be carrying around a black backpack blower a lot. Looks like it's clearing it about four or five feet to each side, and that's well under half throttle that we're using there. This would be perfect for a golf course if you were doing the cart pass or a lot of other things. It's fairly quiet to be running around in the golf course or family parks here. It's getting every bit of it up off the ground here. It's not leaving a thing. So even the wet grass that's been mowed over and matted to this cement uh, early this morning is coming up. All right, so that was quick and easy. Go ahead and do that little sidewalk down through there. Since this thing turns so sharp, it'll turn in its own space so you can pretty much go anywhere. And with its tread width so far apart, it should do uh, reasonably well on uh, hills and so forth. He's changing the direction on his chute, clearing off that sidewalk over there to his right. And now he's gonna change it back over this way to get everything. All right, so even in tight quarters, this could be the perfect blower for you. And we'll go do somewhere where a yard has a lot of debris and build up on it and see how it does cleaning up. Okay, so we're out here at the volleyball goal. And as you can see, it's been mowed this morning. Uh, it's not really got a lot of debris right next to it because they blowed it away. And when we get over to about this place here, you're gonna see got a lot of thatch and stuff that's gonna kill the grass, all to be moved. It's still wet on the bottom because it rained here the other day. But it's 
Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way. And then he's able to do a 180 degree turn at the end of each row, reverse his chute, and just keep everything going the same direction. So that's wet grass that it's trying to get up off there. It looks dry on top, and it is, but underneath it's matted down pretty tight. So when he reverses that chute during the middle of a turn, it just keeps him productive and able to work in both directions without having to back up or go back over it. It's still blowing that wet, kind of uh, uh, matted up grass a good 10, 12 feet away from the machine. This unit is sold. It's going to the National Forestry Service uh, to keep their paths off for their walking and so forth. So as soon as we're done with this video, it's going back in the shipping crate and going off uh, to one of our national forests. And if these were dried leaves instead of this wet grass, it'd probably be blowing leaves a good 20, 25 feet away. This wet grass, own grass, is probably the hardest thing to blow off that you could blow but it's still giving you a good, clear 10 feet. Okay, so we're back here at Everything Attachments and we just want to kind of give you an idea of the strength this blower has. This rock's about an inch in diameter. This is where we drive all our trucks and forklifts, so this is as packed as it's gonna get right here. The blower's blowing, we're gonna turn it straight down. And then I'm going to start turning up the throttle here just a little bit, and you'll just see. So that'll give you an idea of just how much power this blower does have. We're standing here in the spot that we just blew off, and as you can see, there's really not any loose rock left at all. You're down to the solid dirt, which around here is just like concrete. Agrimetal makes a wide range of all kinds of blowers, vacuums, leaf facts, leaf blowers. They make a little bit of everything in that line. Everything Attachments is one of the largest distributors of Agrimetal equipment. This is a super high quality brand of equipment made in Quebec, Canada. We either have it in stock or have it direct shipped as quick as it possibly can be done.